Okay, welcome again, everyone. This is your guy Reggie again with another great YouTube video for you. Uh, today, I want to talk about how to uh, go into your Google account and manage your data and privacy settings, uh, which is, you know, uh, it's a good thing to know because with all the uh, security breaches and uh, everything going on in the world with security and data breaches and all that is good to know uh, as much about how to secure your information your privacy and all um, as possible so okay we're gonna go here so the way we're gonna do this of course now you can use any browser you want it'll work with anybody Internet Explorer Chrome Safari if you're using Apple or Mac it's Safari or maybe uh, you know, Opera One and browser, but I got PC, so I use Chrome. I like in I like Google Chrome the best. So, uh, all right. So we're going here in Chrome, and again, go to here, a little icon, a little symbol thing, where it says Google Account, and I'm going to click here. On first, we'll say Manage Google Account. Okay, and again on the left side, as we talked about last time, you got all these different categories, as you can see, home, person, here, and data person. So today we're going to talk about, last time we did security, today we're going to click on data privacy. Okay, um, now it's real interesting here. Um, this here is a good thing to run when you first go into your privacy settings. And what it does, you see, is it helps you, guide you to choose the privacy settings that are right for you. So you can click here if you want to get started. I'll show you how that works. So all this does is review your privacy settings. Okay, now I got mine on my web and activity on. Um, and you can turn that off as well as I'm going to show you. So let's go back. Um, and that's what I'm going to give. So when you go down here, we'll scroll down a little bit. Under here where you say history settings, uh, choose whether to save things you do in places you go to to get more relevant report, press line, etc. So here, web and activity, you see that's on. You could click this arrow here and it'll take you into here. Now, <clears throat> you can click off, I got my own. What it does saves you. If you go disable it here, it's going to pause your web and make it. Disable your web activity, personalize spares across Google services, as you can see, etc. You know, but I got mine enabled. Uh, and here it shows you can include Chrome history activity sites, etc. Also, here, this is entry. You can click on it, include audio recordings. If you want to know more about that, click here to learn more. Uh, and it's basically. Uh, tells you about how audio recordings are used using Google you know so uh, you can do that as well uh, so here auto delete this is a neat feature what this does I'm gonna click on here you can choose what this would do this will delete all activity automatically after your history and stuff after a certain amount of time so I've got my uh, configure set up to auto delete my activity that's older than three months but if you click this arrow here you can change it to 18 months 36 months you know uh, and it'll automatically delete activity that you no longer have a use for uh, delete your history or you could go here and click on don't auto delete so that means your activity will will not delete automatically you would have to go in and manually and delete it uh, and then right here if you want to know what exactly what's web and app active you could click on that it'll tell you all about that so I'm going to set mine back to because I like the auto delete feature alright now <clears throat> this is another one manage activity so this here <clears throat> takes you a little more in depth until you know you got the auto delete saving activity uh, you know how to listen to voice when you sent to and you know these are uh, different sites and stuff that I've been on now you can delete it manually here like just like kicking this X like if you click that confirm you like to delete this activity this will not show again delete see there it go it's gone uh, and 
and this is your saving activity so it basically just takes you back into uh, where we was just out so now you know and then you can change the view I got bundle view you can go to item view if you like it that way and see they change it to like see the difference like a list here uh, you know so it's pretty neat and uh, you know you can delete all these this one has like 86 cards your feed I think if you hit that uh, it deletes all that see one item under that one character that's kind of neat so uh, you know bundle view either way all right so now we want to go back uh, Google account here so we can go back to data and privacy so now um, you have all that now we have location history now this is really um, vital right here because as you know you can be tracked easily by people a hacker or uh, you know any type of cyber criminal or you know some weird person uh, by your location history and you know what location history does says where you go with your devices so basically it tracks you takes pictures of everywhere you visit now if you don't want that you can hit this and disable it uh, location history you know pause your location history it tells you uh, by doing this pausing this setting doesn't delete any of your past that you can see or delete your data more at this okay so you can go here your timeline open that and uh, okay and this is how you can go here and manage location history right here Okay, and again, it takes you here. Uh, so you can click pause, not saving. Setting is off now. When you hit pause, it says setting is up, not saving your new location here. You have previously saved the old, and then you hit got it. So if you want your location history disabled or pause, you can do that. For now, I'll keep mine enabled go all the way down hit turn on if you want to go back on okay now uh, let me come out of that close this so now um, let's see it's one more setting here um, I think I want to go back over let's go to uh, activity controls so now we talked about that YouTube history wait a minute I'm sorry, let's go back to, uh, wait a minute, uh, data and privacy, let me get back in there, uh, let's go back to the Google account, there we go, data and privacy, okay, now, so we talked about that, so you got that location, uh, history and all that kind of stuff, so let's go back to uh, let's see scroll up here do, 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 do. so now the last one is your YouTube history um, and also you know a lot of you if you sign in with Google like when you go to YouTube if you have your Google account linked to your YouTube a lot of time when you delete the web and act, app activity history it automatically coincides with your YouTube history but you can also go in here and YouTube see you can so I got auto delete off so now if I want to delete my YouTube history all I got to do is click on that auto delete on activity older than 36 months or let me put it there like three months then you click next I'll show you how that works so now confirm auto delete activity older than once activity is older than three it will delete all my Google may delete some types of activity sooner Okay, you click confirm and that would automatically save that if you want to do that. Uh, and then you go here again, just like the web and manage activity. So if you want to delete, see that pulls up, look, all my YouTube history. Uh, you know, I can show details here. I was on this, watching this video, which this is my video that I created. It, uh, I was reviewing it today at 2.57. See, it shows you the day and, you know, the time. Uh, <clears throat> and 
know, you know, when you click on details, you can also go to filter by date and you can put here, you can just go the last seven days. Let's say we want to do the last seven days. See, it shows you, it just show you the sites, uh, YouTube tutorials that you brew between the 4th and the 11th September. You hit apply. And now it just shows history from the last, you scroll down, seven days. But you can delete these as well by clicking on that. All right, folks. So that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to cover today. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you like this video, once again, please feel free to add a like and subscribe to my channel. If you got any questions or comments, as always, feel free to add them to the comments box below. And all, like always, I got many more to come. I hope this video, you found it very educational, and I hope you enjoyed. So until next time, folks, have a great day. Take care. Now.